Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another Glacial Geek Battle Report. I am Phil, the Glacial Geek, coming to you here from Savannah Lion Games in Pooler, Georgia, where I'll be fighting a 1,500-point battle between my Gene Stealer cult and Marcus's Sisters of Battle. So the story that we've got going on here today is that this shrine world uh, seemed, everything seemed to be going all right until uh, suddenly the PDF of the planet started to uh, cause the sisters who were placed on this planet uh, to defend the shrine itself uh, some trouble. They started not listening to their orders uh, and uh, causing some, uh, having minor scuffles out in the streets. Uh, so the sisters started to mobilize uh, to try to find out what was going on and suddenly found themselves in the midst of a full-blown gene stealer cult uprising on their shrine world so they uh, mobilized forces to go out and purge the alien clean uh, clean the filth from their uh, from their shrine world and bring it back to the glory of the emperor uh, and my gene stealer cult are going to try to uh, not let them do that prepare this planet for the arrival of the four armed emperors who are coming from the void uh, so that's the story that we've got going on we are going to be playing uh, the ascension mission from uh, which is a, an eternal war mission from the uh, uh, from chapter approved uh, and it's got three objectives one two three uh, each of those objectives is worth a point if you hold it at the uh, at the end of your turn and if a character is within three inches and your opponent doesn't have any characters they basically have the objective secured uh, rule except it trumps uh, the the objective secured of troops uh, the character rule in the, during this mission and if a character holds the same objective for multiple turns in a row you score multiple points so if you've held that objective for two turns in a row that character will garner you uh, two points for that turn and three points if they do it three turns etc etc so uh, that is the story and that is the mission that we've got going on here today before we go any further though let's show you the two armies that are going to be fighting it out so for the Gene Stealer cult, I'll be running a battalion detachment. Leading off that detachment, I have a Patriarch, a Primus, and a Magus. We have four 10-man Neophyte hybrid squads. We have a five-man Acolyte hybrid squad with a heavy rock saw. We have two five-man Aberrant squads, one with power picks, the other with power hammers. We have a Chimera with a Hunter Killer Missile, Multi-Laser, Las Gun Arrays, Heavy Stubber, and Heavy Bolter. We have a Lehman Russ with a Battle Cannon, Las Cannon, and two Heavy Flamers. And last but not least, we have a 15-man Pure Strain Squad. And for the Sisters of Battle, you'll be running a Battalion Detachment. Leading off that detachment, we have Celestine and two Gemini, and a Cannon S with a Combi Melta and a Relic Power Sword. We have three five-person Sister Squads. Each has a Flamer. We have a Minostaurum Priest with a Chain Sword. We have two nine-man squads of Arcoflagellants. We have three five-person Dominion squads. Each squad has four Storm Bolters and one Combi Melta in each. We have two Rhinos. And last but not least, we have three Repressors with Heavy Flamers and two Storm Bolters each. All right, going over deployment now for the Gene Stealer Cult. I've got a the five-man Acolyte squad in the front here. I've got one of my 10-man Neophyte squads over here. I've got my Lehman Russ. I've got another 10-man Neophyte squad. I've got a Chimera with a 10-man Neophyte squad inside. And then in the building back over here, we've got another Neophyte squad. Uh, in Cult Ambush, I have my two Aberrant squads, the Gene Stealer squad, and the three characters. They're all in, uh, G they're all in uh, Cult Ambush. So going over deployment now for the sisters, we've got a five-person uh, sister squad over here. We've got a Rhino with the Arc of Flagellants and the Cannon S inside over here. We have a five-person uh, sister squad back over here. We've got the Repressor with one of the Dominion squads here. Repressor with Dominion squad. Repressor with, Repressor with Dominion squad. we got Celestine and her Gemini over here. We have another Rhino over here with uh, the another Arcoflagellant squad and the Ministorum Priest inside. And over here we have another five-person sister squad. So that is deployment. As of right now, the sisters are going to be going first. Unless I can seize the initiative. Looking for a six. Show me that fell first. No, no fill face this time. So we will come back to you after movement phase for the Sisters of Battle here on turn one.
All right, movement phase for the Sisters of Battle here on turn one. These sisters moved up six inches. Uh, this repressor had uh, scouted up 12 inches and then moved up over here onto the objective. Uh, this uh, rhino uh, moved up, just moved up 12 inches. This repressor did the same thing, uh, scouted and then moved. Uh, these sisters of battle just moved up here. Uh, they just moved, right? They didn't advance. They had yeah. the, the, uh, active faith. Oh, they active faith and then moved up over there. Uh, this uh, rhino just moved up. The uh, Celestine active faith and then moved up over there. And that repressor scouted and moved up over there. And those sisters just moved up over there. So that is it for the movement phase. No psychic phase. So we'll come back to you with the shooting phase. All right, so the squad of Dominions inside of the Repressor here are going to fire into my Neophyte squad over here. Uh, so it's got four Storm Bolters plus the Bolter portion of the Combi Melter that are going to be firing into them over here. Uh, so there we go, hitting on threes. All right. These are Strength 4, so looking for threes to wound. Getting uh, one, two, three, four, five, six wounds there. Uh, so these are going to be uh, six. Uh, four up saves because they are in cover. Uh, making all but one. Not bad. And now the Repressor itself is going to fire its Storm Bolters into uh, these dude bros over here. Hitting on threes. Wounding on uh, fours. Uh, threes again. Sorry. But that's all fours there anyway. Uh, so that's going to be three wounds. Three four ups. And I fail one of them. All right, now the Dominion squad in here is going to fire into my squad over there. They are in rapid fire range over here, so these are going to be firing. These are going to be hitting on threes. These are the uh, this is the Dominion squad. All right, not bad. These are now going to be wounding on threes. He's not dead yet, uh, but he might be soon. <laughs> so that's uh, how many there? That's uh, nine. Nine. So we've got uh, eight. Ooh, uh, one short. One second. All right, so nine four up saves here. Uh, looking for four ups, yes, because they are in cover. Uh, failing, wow, a lot more than I failed on those last guys. So uh, six of them are dead. And now the two storm bolters on the repressor are going to fire into those guys, hitting on threes. All right, wounding on threes. Getting one, two, three, four wounds. Four four up saves. Failing two of them. All right, so now the Dominion squad and the Repressor here is gonna fire into my Neophyte squad over there. This is the squad inside, hitting on threes. All right, wounding on threes. Getting three wounds. Three four up saves. Failing one. Three five up saves because they aren't in cover, as my opponent uh, so aptly pointed out after that, so two are dead. <laughs> And the storm bolters from the repressor into that same squad over there. So that's going to be three hits. That is going to be one wound. One five up save because they aren't in cover. Yeah, with the fill face. Woo! And that is the end of the sisters' turn there. Uh, scores three points for holding the three objectives here. Uh, but they're not. Uh, well, I guess that one's held by a character. So if. Celestine for some reason decides to just stay there as opposed to like coming flying and, and murdering all of my guys Which I mean either which way I'm okay if you just want to take those two points <laughs> Next turn, but uh, yeah for now just uh, basically regular people are holding him uh, So he scores three points at the end of his turn. I do have one leadership test to take over here, but I'm not gonna take it I'm just gonna uh, Spend the two CP to keep them alive because I need those mining lasers to shoot into some rhinos. So that is going to be it for the sisters' turn here on turn one. We'll come back to you after movement phase for the Gene Stealer Cult here on turn one. All right, movement phase for the Gene Stealer Cult here on turn one. Uh, these dude bros moved up six inches. He stood still. They stood still. Uh, over here, uh, these guys stood still over here. Uh, this guys, these guys moved up twelve inches over here. Um, and then out of Cult Ambush, my Primus and my Pure Strains dropped in over here, rolling a five. Um, over here, my Magus and my Aberrants uh, rolled a one. <laughs> That's why they're back on this table edge over here. And over here, my, pri my Patriarch and my Aberrants over here uh, initially rolled a one, but then I spent a command point and uh, re-rolled it to make it a five. So they got there and they're about a little over eight inches because they both rolled one for their uh, D6 inches that they could move. So they are over here. So that is going to be it for the movement phase. So we'll come back to you with the psychic phase. All right, psychic phase. My patriarch is going to cast Might from Beyond onto my Aberrants over here. So looking for a seven. Uh, that one's cocked. 
Uh, getting the seven. Uh, so can they deny? Four up. On a four up, the sisters can deny. Oh, denied. That was a stratagem, so it's a one CP stratagem, so he spent that. Uh, I've spent uh, five CP so far. My opponent has now spent one CP. Um, Starting up the shooting phase, my two mining laser guys here are gonna fire into his repressor here. So it's gonna be two shots hitting on fours because they didn't move. Uh, not getting anything. So now my Lehman Rust is going to fire into the Repressor. So he, uh, he's got Grind Advance, so he's going to fire the two uh, shots from the Battle Cannon and the Last Cannon into the Repressor there. So we're going to do the two Battle Cannon shots, so 2d6. Uh, it's going to be eight shots. So this is going to be um, eight shots looking for um, eight shots looking for threes to hit. No, fours to hit. One second. Yep, fours to hit. So here we go, looking for fours. Uh, getting... Two hits? All right, that's uh, not statistical. All right, so two hits, strength eight, looking for threes to wound. Wow, that's uh, that is special. All right, now the last cat is gonna fire into him on a four. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so now my Chimera is gonna fire into his Repressor over here. We're gonna go with the multi-laser first, so it's heavy three. These are going to be hitting on fives because he moved. Uh, not getting anything. Then the heavy bolter again hitting on fives. Getting one hit. Strength five, so fives to wound. Nothing there. Heavy stubber. Getting one hit. Wounding on a five. Nope. And now the hunter killer missile hitting on a five. Nope. And now the multi, uh, the uh, last gunner rays are going to fire in there. So they're rapid fire. There's two of them, so it's going to be uh, 12 shots hitting on fours because they're not heavy. All righty. Getting five hits, wounding on f sixes. Getting none. All right, this squad is gonna fire into the repressor over here. I'm gonna fire the grenade launchers first, so two grenade launchers hitting on fours. Getting one hit, strength six, so looking for a five to wound. Hey, with a fill phase, AP minus one, so four up. Hey, you failed, all right. That's a uh, D3 wounds, I think? Hey, three woos, I'll take that. And then five last gun shots into the repressor. Uh, that is going to be four hits. Wounding on sixes. Hey, getting three fill faces. All right, looking for uh, three saves. Fails one of them, takes a wound. And now my Primus is gonna fire his needle pistol into the sisters over there, hitting on a three. That's a hit with a fill first. And wounding on a two. That's a wound. AP nothing, so two up armor save. Yeah, good. So now this squad over here is gonna fire into his repressor over here. So we're gonna go with the seismic cannon. I've got it, it's uh, over 12 inches away, so I'm gonna use the long wave. So it's gonna be heavy four shots. Uh, these are going to be hitting on fours. Getting two hits, strength three, so wounding on sixes. Uh, getting one wound, AP nothing. Yeah, he's good, it was AP zero. And then the last guns in the squad are firing, hitting on fours. Uh, getting two hits, wounding on sixes. Nothing there. All right, so that's it for the shooting phase. We'll come back to you with the assault phase. All right, so starting it off, my aberrants here are gonna charge into his uh, repressor over here. I've got, uh, I'm a little over eight inches away, so his heavy flamer can't shoot me, but the storm bolters will. So those are going to be hitting on sixes. So getting one hit. Uh, that is a wound uh, with a six. These good, woo! Yep. All right, now looking for an eight inch charge because they're a little over eight inches. <laughs> Can't even re-roll that into uh, into anything that I could possibly want to do. Now my Patriarch is going to try to charge in here. It's the Storm Bolter shots coming at him. On sixes, getting one hit. That is uh, not a wound. And now his uh, charge coming in here uh, is going to be in with nine inches. All right, so now my Gene Stealers are going to charge into his sister squad and into his uh, repressor squad over here. So uh, we are going to, he's going to have his, um, we're going to go with the, uh, we'll do the sisters first. So they have a, uh, we're going to go with the bolters first, hitting on sixes, uh, getting one hit, uh, doing one wound, uh, not making a save. And now the flamer, getting four hits. These are going to be wounding on fours. Uh, getting one wound. Me? Not making a save. Sure. And now the storm bolters from the repressor. 
Hitting on sixes. That's one hit. That is a wound. That is not a save. And the heavy flamer. Getting two hits. Uh, two wounds. But I make one save, so one is dead. All right, so they're now going to be looking for a six-inch charge to get into both of them over there. I am going to spend a command point to re-roll this. Oh, no! No! Why? 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 And now my Primus, somebody's got to do something. It's going to charge into the sisters over here. So we've got their bolter shots coming in here on sixes. Getting one hit. Getting a wound. Not making a save. And that flamer. Getting one hit. Getting one wound. But making that save. All right, I need a three inch charge. Normally, I'd be pretty confident about this, <laughs> but if you've been watching to this point, <laughs> you would understand why my opponent is laughing uncontrollably, <laughs> and I am not feeling very confident. Three-inch charge. Can he make it? Oh, yes, he can. Oh, thank you. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, we're going to start off the fight phase with my Patriarch attacking into his Repressor over here. So I've got six attacks hitting on twos. All right, so that's all hits. These are going to be strength six, toughness seven, so looking for fives to wound. Uh, Rerolling failed wounds because of them being monstrous rending claws. All right, so getting uh, five wounds there, two of which are at AP minus six, uh, but three of, uh, and they're going to be three damage apiece. These are at AP minus three at D3 damage. So we're going to do the two, uh, let's do the two sixes first. So these are going to be five, uh, six up uh, in vol saves. Nope, failed both of them. So that's going to be six damage right there. And then three uh, f uh, six ups again because AP minus three. Uh, no, failing those. So that's going to be D3, which doesn't matter because they've only got eight left. So it's dead. Does it explode? It does not explode. Oh, yeah. If that was the six up, come on. <laughs> Uh, so it is dead. Uh, we'll figure out getting out of there, but that is first blood All right, so that's what is left over here. So over here though my uh, Primus has uh, consolidated into the repressor and into them So his attacks are gonna go into the sisters over there. I've got four attacks. These are gonna be hitting on twos uh, That is going to be three hits uh, wounding on twos because I'm using the toxin injector claw so there's going to be three wounds there, AP minus one, so three, four ups. Failing one. And now the sisters are going to attack back into here. That is all hits. Uh, toughness is four, three, one second. All right, toughness three, so looking for fours to wound. Uh, getting uh, two wounds. Uh, two, one. Nah, five is safe, so that's uh, two wounds. And now the Repressor is going to attack back here, hitting on fives because the Repressor is cool like oh. <laughs> I was going to say cool like that. That's not cool. <laughs> Wounding on twos because she's strength six. Oh, so two wounds. If I fail both of these five ups, though, he is dead. Five up saves. Yep. He is, uh, he stripped it. Good job, Repressor. <laughs> All right, so that is it for the Gene Sealer Cult turn here. No one has to take any leadership tests. Uh, I do score this objective over here. So between that and First Blood, I scored two points this turn. Uh, my opponent has three points, so we'll come back to you after a movement phase for the sisters here on turn two. All right, so there's actually an act of faith that's going to be going on over here. So uh, these sisters are going to be firing into my Gene Stealer Cult over here with their act of faith. So hitting on threes. All right, so two hits. Wounding on uh, fours. No, no wounds. And the flamer. That's going to be five hits. <laughs> uh, wounding on fours. Uh, getting one wound there. Uh, did not make the save. All right, movement phase for the Sisters of Battle here on turn two. The Arco Flagellants and the Minotaur and Priest uh, disembarked from the Rhino that was over here. Uh, these Sisters stood where they were. These sisters moved up over this way towards my gene stealers over here. These sisters did the same thing, right, over here. This repressor stayed where he was. Uh, Celestine uh, used her act of fate to move up here and then moved again up there towards my neophytes. Uh, the rhino here, the rhino here, and the, uh, or the repressor here and the rhino here all moved up here towards uh, my neophytes there and my Lehman Russ and my neophytes over here, I guess. Uh, and these sisters moved up over here onto the objective. And that is it for the movement phase. So the, the 
uh, Archiflagellants and the uh, Cannon S are still inside of this Rhino over here. So that is it for the movement phase. We'll come back to you with the uh, no psychic phase, so we'll come back to you with the shooting phase. <laughs> All right, the Minnesota Priest is going to start us off by shooting his uh, last pistol into my uh, into my Patriarch over here. That is not a hit. All right, so the sisters here are going to fire into my uh, mining laser neophytes over here. So we've got six shots, double tapping in there, hitting on threes. Ooh, all hits, pretty good. These are now strength four, so looking for threes to wound. Uh, getting all but one wound, so that's going to be five wounds. Five four-up saves because they're in cover. Uh, they are way dead. All right, the sisters, focus. The sisters over here are gonna fire into uh, my into my gene stealers over here. So we've got seven shots because one sister is out of double tap range. All right, so that's uh, a bunch of hits there. Four, four hits. So these are now going to be wounding on four. So that's two wounds, two five up invul saves. Failed them both. All right, so now the sisters here are gonna fire into my gene ste my pure strain. So we've got the bolters hitting on threes. Who all hits? Real good. Wounding on fours. Imagine if that was Daka Daka. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that is going to be uh, four wounds there. Four, five up in saves. Uh, making two of them. I'll take that. And the flamer. Getting six hits. Ooh, brutal. All right. Wounding on fours. Getting one wound. And not making a save. All right. This Rhino here is going to fire Storm Bolter into my Neophyte squad over here. That is two hits. That is one wound. That is not a save. This Rhino here is going to do the same thing into them. Two hits. Getting two wounds. I'm making one save with that fill phase. This squad of Dominion are going to fire into my Patriarch over here. So we're going to go with the three Storm Bolters first. Uh, these are going to be, uh, they're in obviously in double tap range, and they are going to be hitting on threes. All right, getting one miss, not bad. <laughs> These are now going to be wounding on fives. Uh, getting one, two, three, uh, four, four wounds. All right, four, four up saves. Uh, failing three of them. I've got uh, his World of Warlord trait is uh, six up, ignoring wounds. Uh, don't ignore any of them. And now here comes the melter shot, hitting on a three. That's a hit. Wounding on a uh, three. No, no wound. Oh, yeah. All right, so Celestine and her gals are going to now fire into uh, my neophytes over here. So we got the two uh, pistols. That is going to be one hit. That is one wound. That is not a save. And now her flamer. That is going to be four hits. These are going to be, uh, what is it, strength? Five, so Strength three. five, so that is two wounds. AP minus one, plus one because of cover. Making no saves. And now the Dominion squad inside there is going to fire into my uh, into my Chimera over here. So we're going to have the red are going to be the uh, the Storm Bolters. The black is going to be the Melta. Uh, hitting on threes. All right. Looking like my rolling over there. <laughs> Sorry. Moving my models for advantage over here. Looking for uh, tough, uh, looking for five to wound. So that's gonna be three wounds. Three, three up saves. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and now the repressor is gonna fire everything uh, that they've got into him over here. Uh, hitting on threes. Ooh, not as great over there. Uh, getting one wound. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently they forgot to uh, put on their armor today. <laughs> Another heavy flamer. That is one hit. That is not a wound. <laughs> All right, so this repressor here is going to start us off with the squad inside firing the melta into my Lehman Russ, and then the uh, the the storm bolters into uh, this squad over here. So we're going to do the storm bolters first. These are going to be all those hitting on threes. These are now going to be wounding on threes. All right, so how many is that? That's four, eight. Eight uh, wounds there. So we've got uh, six, seven, eight, eight. Uh, uh, well, I guess we're gonna do five at a time here because um, one's in cover there. So it's gonna be uh, eight uh, five ups, making a one of them so far. So one at a time, five up. Nope, did. And then two four ups. Yep. Yep, that was a good way to end it on that one. Another melter shot into my Lehman Russ over here on a three. 
That's a hit. Looking for a four. That's a wound. AP minus four, so that's just gonna go straight through. D6 damage. Oh, double choosing the highest, so taking the six. I'm sure you don't want to choose the three? You could like choose the three, right? <laughs> Can I? Oh, taking six. All right, so now this squad here, uh, that's it for the uh, shooting phase. So on to the assault phase. Celestine and her uh, Gemini are going to charge into my neophytes over here. So we're going to start with uh, the las gun shots. No hits there. Now we'll do the Weber. D3 shots, so three shots. Now the six comes up. Uh, getting no hits there. Uh, D3 shots for the web pistol. Two shots. Uh, getting one hit. Strength three, toughness three. Uh, that is a wound. AP nothing. Uh, that is a save. And now we've got the flamer. It's going to have four hits. Uh, getting three wounds. All good. And then we've got the... Um, the heavy seismic cannon, the seismic cannon over there, getting one hit, strength six, so two's the wound. That's a wound, uh, one second. All right, so onto the uh, one of the Gemini there. Two up armor becomes three up, save because it's AP minus one. Good to go. And their charge distance is totally in. All right, these sisters here are gonna charge into my uh, pure strains over here. They are in. And now the Arco Flagellants are gonna charge into both my Patriarch and into the Aberrants over here. And they are into at least one. Oh, he's gonna spend a command point to reroll that. Back into a one. Man, apparently uh, your dice got a little too close to my dice. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start off here with the Arco Flagellants. Four of them are going to go into my Aberrants. Five of them are going to go into my uh, Patriarch over here. So we're going to go with the four into the Aberrants. They get D, uh, 3d3 attacks each. So we're going to have 12d3 attacks into the Aberrants over here. So here we go. All right, we'll come back to that. All right, so we got 22 attacks coming in here. These are going to be hitting on threes. All right, we'll come back to that. Rerolling because of Zella with all two misses. All right, still missed that one. So that's going to be 21 hits over here. These are strength five, toughness four, so looking for threes to wound. We'll come back to you with that. All right, so that's 15 wounds into them. So we have 15 five up saves. Uh, I made one, two, Three, that was a four. Four, uh, which means there's 11 wounds, which means that they are dead. All right, now the attacks into the Patriarch. So just to make it clear what's going on here, the Windstorm Priest is within six, gives them plus one attack. Their weapons state that they are D3 attacks per attack in their characteristics. So that's why they're getting three D3 attacks into uh, these guys, which is pretty awesome, pretty cool. So now we're gonna have five of them attacking into my Patriarch over here. So these are gonna be uh, the 15 D3 attacks. <laughs> I'll come back to you with that. All right, so 24 attacks are going to be coming in on over here. These are going to be hitting on uh, hitting on threes. We'll come back to you with that. All right, more misses this time, but still re-rolling because of Zealot. All right, so missing two or three. Three. All right, so here we go. These are going to be uh, 21 hits again. Hey, it's the same thing. It's the lucky number. Uh, these are going to be strength, you said four, right? Five. Uh, strength five, toughness uh, five, so these are wounding on fours. All right, we'll come back to that. All right, so we've got uh, 10 uh, wounds into my Patriarch over there. He's going to have uh, 10 uh, four-up saves. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's, uh, that's definitely not half. Make it two. Uh, these are now going to be six-up ignoring wounds. I need to ignore a lot of wounds here. Show me them fill faces. No, getting zero fill faces. So, in fact, that is Slay the Warlord. All right, so now the sisters are going to attack into my pure strains over here, hitting on threes. All right, wounding on fives. Strength three, right? Ooh, no wounds. All right, so now Celestine and the Gemini are going to attack into my, um, that sounds like a cool, like, indie rock band, Celestine and the Gemini. Uh, they're going to attack into my Neophyte squad over here. Uh, the, the Gemini have three attacks each, uh, and Celestine has a plus one attack for the Warlord trait, so it's gonna have se she's going to have seven attacks. Uh, the, uh, the blacks are going to be uh, Celestine, the reds are going to be the Gemini, hitting on threes and twos, twos for Celestine, uh, threes for uh, the Gemini. All right, so then these are now going to be wounding on uh, strength three. Strength three for all of them, so these are all going to be wounding on fours. Right, Celestine's actually strength seven or something. Oh, Celestine's yeah, actually right. strength a billion. But, um, <laughs> so she's probably wounding on twos at least. Um, so those are going to be uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. At AP minus three, they are dead. All right, so now my pure strains are going to attack into the sisters over here. Uh, they've got three attacks each because they're under 10 there, so it's going to be hitting on threes. All righty then. 
Uh, these are now going to be wounding on threes. Sixes are rending, so we got two at uh, rending and two that are regular minus one. So these are going to be uh, invul saves. These are going to be uh, four up saves. So we'll do the two four up saves first. Uh, failing one, making one, and then we've got two six up saves. Making neither of those, so three sisters dead. All right, so that is it for the um, that is it for the fighting phase. Uh, so we over here we do have one leadership test to take. So on a six, one of them will run away. Nope, they are good to go because they've got leadership eight. Uh, so that is going to be it for the sisters of battle turn here on turn two. We'll come back to you after movement phase for the uh, gene stealer cult here on turn two. Sorry, my pure strains also have to take a leadership test. They lost five, so five plus. Two is seven, they are good to go. All right, movement phase for the Gene Stealer Cult here on turn two. My pure strain stayed in combat over here. Uh, my Lehman Rust stood still. My um, Acolytes here came back in from the shadows after returning to the shadows last turn. So they rolled a four, so they're nine inches away over here. Uh, my Magos moved up over there. My Aberrants that were back here returned to the shadows, leaving me with one command point. Uh, these guys disembarked from my Chimera, who then moved up to contest that objective up there. And that is it for the movement phase. So we'll come back to you with the psychic phase. Yeah. All right, so I'm actually going to smite over here. So they, he is going to smite into the repressor over there, looking for a five. Uh, getting a five, exactly. So you're going to spend a I can't deny it. You can't, oh, you can't lie. You can't, you can't uh, I think the range of the CP one is like 12 inches. Oh, it's only within 12 inches for the CP for the thing. Uh, so, uh, cannot deny it. So that is going to be smite. So D3 mortal wounds. Two mortal wounds. I'll take it. All right, we looked it up. It's actually within 24 inches, but I refuse to let him do it. He already made his mistake and let it happen. Uh, just kidding. He said he didn't want to do it anyway. <laughs> so, uh, the, uh, the Lehman Rush here is now going to fire his last cannon and his two heavy flamers into this rhino over here. And he's going to fire the battle cannons into his uh, Arco Flagellants over here. So, we're going to do the ones into the Arco Flagellants first. So, I'm going to have uh, 2d6 shots because of grinding in advance. All right, going to have 10 shots. We'll come back to you with that. All right, so 10 shots. These are going to be hitting on fives because he's wounded over there. Getting uh, a bunch of hits. That's pretty good. Half of the hits. I'll take that. So that's five hits. These are going to be strength eight. So looking for twos to wound. Uh, that is all wounds at AP minus two. So uh, it's going to be five. Uh, what do they have? Five up invul saves. Uh, making one of them. So that is going to be four dead arcoflagellants. They have two dam uh, two wounds apiece, but that is two damage apiece. So, or D oh no, it's D3 damage. I'm sorry, it's D3. You're right. Sorry, sorry. So they've got two damage apiece. So the first one uh, is a dead guy. The second one is also a dead guy. The third one is also a dead guy. And the fourth one is just a wounded guy. Oh, boy. All right, so now the two heavy flamers are going to fire into the rhino over there. We've got five hits over here. These are going to be strength five, so looking for fives to wound. Uh, getting one wound. This is going to be a four up. No, it takes a wound. And now the last cannon does not hit. All right, so now my acolytes are going to fire their pistols into the repressor over there. Five shots hitting on uh, fitting on fours. Uh, okay, so that's going to be three hits. These are now going to be wounding on sixes. Nope, nothing there. All right, so these units, uh, this guy's here, are going to fire into Celestine and her Gemini over there. So we're going to start with the two flamers. Getting six hits. All right, these are going to be wounding on threes. Getting one, two, three wounds. Three two up saves. Good. All right, so now the last guns and the last pistol are going to fire in here. So I got 15 shots all told. These are going to be hitting on fours. All right, so missing. Not many. I'll take that. So these are going to be wounding on fours. Getting. Pretty good, I'll take that. So that's gonna be three, six, seven, eight wounds. So we have eight two up saves. Uh, failing two of them, one of the Gemini is dead. And now my Chimera is gonna fire everything into the repressor over here. So uh, he's uh, down to six wounds, but uh, so that's not into the lower category yet. So we're gonna start with the multi-laser first. So it's gonna be three shots hitting on fives because he moved. Getting two hits. Wounding on fives. No, no wound. Now the heavy bolter. Uh, getting two hits. Getting one wound. AP minus one. No, it takes a wound. Now the heavy stubber. Getting two hits. 
Getting one wound. Good. All right, so now the Les gun arrays are going to fire in there. 12 shots because they're rapid firing on fours. All righty. These are now going to be wounding on uh, sixes. Getting one wound. Ooh, failed it. All right, so that is it for the shooting phase into the assault phase. My uh, acolytes here are going to charge into his repressor uh, out of range of the flamer. So we're just going to have the two storm bolters that are going to be shooting, uh, but they are in rapid fire range. So we're going to have uh, eight shots from the two storm bolters on the repressor firing into my acolytes over here. So here we go. So they're going to be uh, looking for sixes. Uh, no hits there. So they need a nine inch charge to get in. Getting it! Woo! Alright, so starting off the fight phase, my acolytes are gonna go first. We're gonna go with the guy with the heavy rocks off first. So he has two attacks hitting on uh, threes. That is two hits. Strength times two becomes strength eight, looking for threes to wound. Getting two wounds at AP minus four. So these are gonna be six up invul saves. No, those go through, so that's gonna be four damage. And now the rest of the guys are gonna attack with their rending claws. They've got two attacks each, except for the leader who has three attacks. These are going to be hitting on threes. Alrighty. These are now going to be wounding on fives. Getting uh, two wounds, one of which is a six, so that's at AP minus four. Uh, so that's gonna be an involve. This is AP minus one. So we got the two at AP minus one, four ups, making them both, and then the one sticks up. Who sticks it? Literally. And then we have the four cultist knives, just cuz. Uh, those are all hits. These are going to be wounding on fives. Getting two wounds, two three ups. Uh, making them both. All right, so my opponent's going to spend two command points to interrupt over here. So his sisters are going to go first. Hitting on threes. All hits. Wounding on fives. Getting two wounds. And I failed them both. Of course I did. All right, now my three pure strings over here are gonna attack in. Three attacks each, hitting in on threes. Oh, oh boy. All right, actually that was exactly statistical. All right, so here we go. These are now going to be wounding on threes. Oh, that was better than statistical, I'll take that. So that's gonna be five wounds, none of them sixes, so these are gonna be five four ups. Oh no, okay, they are they are dead, because there's three of them that went through, so they are dead. And now the Repressor gets to attack back over here. Uh, that is going to be one hit. Uh, one wound. AP minus one, but a one is not going to save nothing. All right, so that is it for the uh, Gene Stealer Cult turn here on turn two. Uh, I didn't score any points that turn, so we will now come back to you after movement phase for the Sisters of Battle on turn three. All right, movement phase for the Sisters of Battle here on turn three. His Arcoflagellants are making their way up this way. These sisters and the Ministorum Priests are moving up towards my Pure Strains. These sisters, Act of Faith moved and then Regular moved up this way, and these sisters moved up over this way. This Rhino moved back onto the objective. This Rhino stood still, right? Yes, so I stood still. Uh, the uh, Cannoness and the Arcoflagellants disembarked from that squad, uh, uh, from that Rhino though. Looking over here on my poor, poor Lehman Russ. Uh, his uh, Repressor stayed in combat with uh, my dude bros over there. Uh, that is my Magus, not his. <laughs> uh, and Celestine and uh, her gal pals over here decided to come up looking onto my uh, poor, poor neophytes that made a really bad choice. And his uh, repressor over here stayed still on the objective looking at my uh, chimera. So that is it for the movement phase. We will come back to you with the shooting phase. All right, so starting us off here, Celestine and the Gemini are going to fire into my uh, neophytes here. These are the pistols from the Gemini. Getting two hits, uh, getting two wounds, uh, getting one save. And now the Heavy Flamer, that's two hits from Celestine. That is uh, one wound from Celestine, AP minus one, it is a dead guy. All right, so now the Dominion Squad inside of this Repressor is firing into my Chimera over here. So we've got uh, 16 shots from the Storm Bolters plus a Melta on threes. Not bad, all right, so. Uh, they're going to be wounding on uh, three and uh, four, uh, three and fives. Yeah. All right, so the melt is going to wound, and they've got uh, three other uh, wounds there from the uh, storm bolters. So we've got three, uh, three three ups, failing one of those, and then we've got the melt is just going to go straight through, half range. Doing <laughs> which of those do you want to choose? <laughs> 
No, that one turned into a two, so. <laughs> uh, so yeah, he's totally dead then. Let's see if he explodes. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, he does. So he's going to do D3 mortal wounds to you. Yeah, take that two mortal wounds. All right, the cannoness here is going to fire into my Lehman Rust with the combi melta. That's a hit. That is a wound. Uh, no AP minus four, so no save there. So it's just going to be uh, half range. So getting to choose between two. Getting five damage down to one. All right, that's it for shooting phase. Into the assault phase. Celestine and the Gemini are going to charge into uh, my neophyte squad over here. So we're going to fire Overwatch. We're going to the two flamers first. Getting seven hits over here. So this is going to be uh, seven uh, strength four. Looking for threes to wound. Uh, going to be one, two, three, four, five, six wounds. AP minus uh, nothing. So here we go. Two ups. Making all of them over there. Uh, oh, by the way, the one that I killed before came back at the end of the, uh, at the beginning of his turn because of uh, her special rule to be able to do that. Uh, so now uh, we've got the last gun shots, which we'll come back to you with. All right, so we've got eleven last shots coming in over here, looking for sixes. Ooh, that's actually better than I usually shoot with them normally. So, <laughs> so we'll take those five shots, looking for fours, uh, getting three wounds over there, two ups. Oh, take your wound. And their charge distance, totally in. <laughs> well, not totally, but definitely in. <laughs> All right, so now these Archoflagellants are going to choose uh, choose the Lehman Russ and my ne uh, Acolyte hybrids over here as targets. Uh, my Lehman Russ can fire Overwatch over here, so we're going to do with the two ba the battle cannon. Oh, it's just the grinding phase. I think is only the shooting phase, so it's going to be uh, D6 shots, six shots. I'll take that. These are going to be looking for sixes to hit. Look, you've shooting those fiddle faces. Getting one. That is a wound. Five up in bowl. No, so that's just going to kill that one guy there. And then we got the last cannon. Nope, not getting a hit. Uh, so their charge distance. Uh, seven inches will not get him into the Lehman Russ, but it will get him into those dude bros. And now this Arco Flagellant squad is going to charge into my Lehman Russ and my Acolyte hybrids over here. We're going to go with the Heavy Flamers first, so 2d6 hits. It's going to be six hits. These are Strength 5, looking for threes to wound. Uh, getting four wounds, AP minus one, so just the five up invuls, right? Yeah. Uh, failing two of them, so one is dead. Then we've got the Battle Cannon, getting four shots. Looking for sixes, getting two sixes. That is two wounds. Uh, making one, failing one, so D3 damage. Uh, one damage. And the last cannon. That is not a hit. Their charge distance uh, is definitely going to be in. Over here, this Dominion squad is going to charge into my Gene Stealers. I'm going to overwatch with dirty looks. It was not effective. Oh, but they didn't make the charge. Do you want to spend a command point to reroll that? Gonna spend the reroll that one. Oh, into a two. Four might get him in though. Yep, that was just enough. They were just under five inches away. So now this squad over here is gonna charge. And they are in. And now these sisters are gonna charge in, getting eight inches. All right, so we're gonna start the fight phase with all of these sisters attacking into uh, my uh, pure strains over here because uh, I don't have enough command points to interrupt. So we're just gonna go with all of them. Uh, they are all—all all the squads are within six inches of the Ministorm priest that he had advanced over here to get uh, into this bubble area over here. So they've each got two attacks each, except for the sister superiors who have three attacks each. So we're gonna have 29 attacks coming into my pure strains over here, hitting on threes. We'll come back to you with that. All right, so there are 20 hits there. So these are now going to be wounding on five. Strength three, toughness four. All right, we'll come back to you with that. All right, so there's four wounds so far, but he's going to spend a command point to reroll one of those. No, not into there. So we've got four wounds. Looking for five up in vol saves. Can I? Can they be the heroes that I need? Well, let's find out. Uh, no, they cannot be the heroes that I need. They fail miserably and, in fact, kill another of their friends uh, in, in the afterlife with that roll. Good job. All right, so now uh, Celestine and her Gemini are going to attack into my neophytes over here. These are going to be hitting on threes and twos. All right. Oh, Celestine. All right. These are now going to be wounding on threes and twos. Oh, no, uh, fours and twos. Yeah. All right, so that's uh, 
four, six dead neophytes. All right, so now this Arco Flagellant squad's gonna activate. Five are gonna go into my Lehman Russ, four are gonna go into my Dude Bros over here. So we're gonna go with the five into the Lehman Russ. So it's 10 D3 attacks. All right, we'll come back to you with that. All right, we got 22 attacks coming in over here. These are gonna be hitting on uh, threes. All right, we'll come back to you with that. Well, actually, we don't even need to because that was uh, real good there. All right, rerolling because of Zealot. All right, so that's going to be three misses. These are now going to be strength five, so wounding on fives. Getting one, two, three. That was that was good. So three of them. If I fail any of these, he's dead. Three three ups. Come on. No, of course he doesn't. That one hurts. That one hurts. Uh, does he explode? No, he doesn't. All right, and now the three into my acolytes over here. Three D three. We'll come back to you with that. All right, so it's gonna be thirteen attacks into them, hitting on threes. All right, re-rolling because of Zealot. All right, pretty good there. These are strength fives, so looking for threes to wound. So that's gonna be how many? Uh, three, six, ten. Ten wounds over here. So we've got. 10 um, AP nothing or AP AP nothing. So these gonna be 10 uh, five up saves. Uh, no, they are, they made two of them. So they are totally, totally dead. All right, my neophytes get to attack back at Celestine and the Gemini. Four attacks total because my leader has a chain sword. Hitting on fours. Getting three hits. That's how you started. That's how you do it. Wounding on fours. Getting two wounds. Two, two up saves. No, they're good. All right, so that is the end of the Sisters of Battle turn here. I have a leadership test to take over here. The leader is still alive, so leadership eight, eight plus. Oh no, okay. <laughs> yeah, they are way, way gone because of that filth phase. That could have come when I was charging, right? No, it had to, that had to come there. I couldn't have gotten the one where only one guy left. No, they're, yeah, they're way dead. Uh, so uh, they're gone. So that's it for the, uh, the, the Sisters of Battle turn here. He gets another two points uh, for this. Uh, these two uh, objectives there. And I've got one guy left on the board. So we'll come back to you after movement phase for the Gene Stealer Cult here on turn three. All right, movement phase. He stood where he was because he's within 18 inches of there for the smart. And then he, these guys dropped back in from out of the shadows uh, to drop in over here. They rolled a five, then rolled a four. So they are uh, five inches away from them over there to this lovely welcoming circle of doom over here. So uh, that is going to be it for the movement phase. We'll come back to you at the psychic phase. Smart into those guys over there. Uh, getting it with a nine. Are you going to try to deny it? No, he's going to let it happen. And taking out that one wound left guy there. Yeah, die. Last pistol into those guys over there. Getting a hit. Not getting a wound. All right, my aberrants are going to declare all three squads over here. So we'll come back to you with the Overwatch. All right, between the Storm Bolters and the regular Bolters, we have 30 shots coming in here looking for sixes. Ooh, there's a bunch there. We'll come back to you with that. <laughs> All right, there was five hits there. These are looking for fours to wound. Uh, getting one wound. Yeah, with that fill phase. Woo! All right. So I need a five-inch charge to make it into combat over here. Can I make it? I'd say yes. But my track record, especially today, says no. But here we go. Five-inch charge. Oh, there we go. Double what I needed. I'll take that. All right, so we're going to start out the fight phase with my aberrants. We're going to put one guy into the Dominion squad here. We're going to put uh, two guys into the four-person uh, sister squad there and two into the four person, uh, five-person sister squad back over there. So we're going to go with the one into the Dominion squad. Two attacks hitting on threes. Getting one hit. That is a wound. AP minus two. One, uh, one second. All right, five up because it's AP minus two. Yeah, dead sister. Now we got two attacks into the four-person squad. Getting uh, one hit. Not great. But that is a wound. And that's a dead sister. And now the other two into the five-person squad. Uh, getting three hits on this one. Getting three, uh, no, two wounds on this one. Two five ups. That's two dead sisters. All right. So the Minostorm Priest is only in range of two of the squads here. So there's, these are going to go uh, into here, but everyone's going to attack in over here. So 
Hitting it on threes. All right. These are now going to be wounding on fours. Oh, wounding on five, sorry. All right. So that's two. So just two. And I make one of the saves, so one of them is injured. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where we're going to call this game with a resounding Sisters of Battle victory. Uh, that was brutal. <laughs> uh, the sisters came in with their cleansing flame and just uh, burned out the rotten core on this planet. Uh, my Magos is probably going to run away and jump into a sewer somewhere, probably into that pipe right there, uh, and then just go find somewhere to hide for a while while they uh, try to repopulate the cult uh, and get it back there. And maybe they'll have another whole like force to just kind of like rise from below and take back over. Uh, but that was a uh, decisive blow against the cult's ability uh, to, to prepare this Shrine World for uh, the arriving Tyranids. So a uh, a brutal battle, but a ton of fun. I had a blast. These Arco Flagellants are no joke. Those are guys are crazy. They're like the same points as my uh, as my pure strains, putting out a ton of attacks. Not as much AP, but I mean the weight of fire that they just get on there and those attacks is, is awesome. So you throw them up there with a Rhino, get in your face, and just like. Arco flagellate all over the place. So, <laughs> so I uh, hope you guys have all enjoyed it. I certainly have. I have been Phil, the Glacial Geek, as always. My opponent's been Marcus, and until next time, have fun. <laughs>